That's the app. It is a wonderful crunch time. Get into over two hours to four hours. Oh my gosh, the light coming from that window. One second. Ah, oh, that's better. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good day. How are y'all doing today? I just finished doing a really like intense, deep stretch workout with my new app. A friend of mine actually showed me. It's called Fit On. This is not sponsored. I just am really enjoying it. You can share all the stuff that you've done on the app. I shared mine from this morning, just a few minutes ago, where I did a 22 minute uh, workout. It's a yoga, deep yoga stretch workout. It burned 90 calories, but I'm not really focused on that. I'm more focused on relieving pain and toning up my body a little bit and just like being more mobile because working from home not always mobile even though i do a lot of stuff like around the property there are a lot of days where i'm not fully mobile i'm just sitting like i am right now which isn't super helpful for like your body and like you notice a lot more pain when you're literally just like sitting down all the time i've been using this app for i don't know like for the past two weeks at least there's lots of different things that you can do on the Fit On app. I did mention this before, but I tend to focus more on lower body abs and yoga. Those are my three things that I want to focus on. I really enjoy yoga. I find it to be very, one, it's okay. Some of it's relaxing, some of it's not. A lot of it I do is for mobility, flexibility, and toning. So there's a lot of different types of yoga. I just did like a slow, intense one. It's, it's not really intense. It's intense for me because my hip flexors are tight and my lower back is tight and my hamstrings are tight because I have not been fully stretching like I should be, but that's okay. I just am really enjoying the app and you can share your progress. There are lots of wonderful workouts here. I'm just gonna add that to my favorites. Like um, this one with, I, gosh, what's his name? Kenta. I'm not gonna say his last name because I'm probably gonna butcher it, but he calls himself Kenta. He does a wonderful crunch time workout so that way you can engage your core more and you can work out your core, which is what I'm focused on. I just did his lower back relief yoga session. So that is the one that I did this morning. I'm going to be finishing this really tiny cup of coffee and then I'm gonna start on a second one and get into work. I just wanted to share this Fit On app with you all because I think that it's really helpful. And also, if any of you are into fitness here on YouTube, then you probably know about Bloglotties. Bloglotties is also on this app. She does teach. I haven't taken one of her classes yet, but I'm kind of interested in seeing what else she has. You can pick workouts at your level, depending on what kind of intensity you want and such like that. So it's really good. And then they have like different types of trainers. Let's see. Kenta is the one that I'm working with right now. 
that's Kenta. And I take a lot of his ab or core workouts and yoga. So um, there was also someone else I did yoga with. He was more of like a slow control type of yoga. Vitus. Vitus was another one um, who I took a yoga class with. His yoga I really prefer. Are you kidding? It's raining right now. It's raining right now. By the way, you guys probably saw that in the background. <laughs> Let me explain that. This, this is a catch-all carry tray that Anthony got for me. Anthony's my boyfriend. He gifted me this <laughs> yesterday. Um, you're probably wondering why did he gift you this. Well, I live in Florida and for those who don't know anything about Florida, there is a season in Florida that's really important and it's hurricane season. It's where a lot of things, it's where a lot of bad weather happens and it's just thunderstorms every day, usually either at the very end of May or the very beginning of June, all the way till November. So he got me a, I guess you would say it's like a goodie bag or goodie case of stuff for me to finish my hurricane prep which i started my hurricane prep already so i have wet and dry liquid tar for roof patching because i have one small section of the roof to patch just to make it fully secure over the years like shingle roofs do get loose so you have to check it so i'm checking mine this year and i noticed a lot of loose ones i have done most of the roof like three quarters of the roof i just have like one section left to do also have these hurricane anchor kits for putting up hurricane shutters you just screw these into outside walls of the house around all the windows and they anchor in and then you can put shutters on top of the other on top of the rest of the screw and then um you put like these little wing nut washers they look like little wings <laughs> you screw those on after you put the shutter on so that way you can protect your windows from flying debris he also got me gloves because <laughs> i needed a new pair of gloves however i don't know if these are going to work well for me it says all terrain but I typically like full leather gloves because I do a lot of work with lots of different materials, especially like fencing and stuff like that and wood. So I just prefer leather gloves, but it was very sweet of him to give to me all of this. I will probably use these gloves at some point. They're just really thin and they are made of some kind of like plastic. Probably they're made with PVC. I'll try them out and see how they work with all the stuff that I need to get done. Unfortunately, it's raining right now, so that means I can't do anything outside for a while. A lot of the work that I have to do is outside for like strapping things down and securing things and putting things away that are out in the yard. <laughs> and also there's other things that I have to take care of, like securing animals and making sure that there is runoff channels for all the excess water that's gonna come on. So he gifted me this yesterday <laughs> and I did need another like tray. This is just like an open catch-all tray. This goes with the system that I purchased recently a few vlogs ago. If you've seen, it was like four or five vlogs ago, I think. That it, was, it was like a month ago or so. I'll link it somewhere so you guys can go and see that where I got the first part of the system. And so this is just a catch-all where you can just put whatever you need in here and just carry it with you wherever you are. That's really handy because I usually am traversing this whole property, which is pretty big. So <laughs> I'm gonna need something like this to like carry stuff with me. Well, that kind of ruins, the weather kind of ruined my plans a little bit because I was going to go up and fix that little section of the roof today, but can't. So they'll have to wait for a sunny day. We did have a sunny day yesterday. However, I didn't do any of that work yesterday because I was editing. Because I know I'm behind on these vlogs. I know. I'm working on my main channel and then I work on my vlog channel. Priorities, one channel gets more of my attention than the other. But this channel is just my daily life. So if you guys want to see more of behind the scenes of what I do for my main channel with like illustration and graphic design and filming and such like that, I can show you that. If you guys want to see all of my hurricane prep, I could show you that. If you guys are interested in knowing what um, hurricanes are all about, what it takes to prepare for one, 
and all of those things. There are supplies that we get every year around this time just to prepare. I got some yesterday. It's usually just filling up a whole bunch of excess gas cans, and they're not cans. I don't know why they call them gas cans, but gas containers, they're usually red. These big like red gas containers, and some of them have spouts, some of them don't. They're usually around five gallons each. We fill a few of those and put them in the garage to have them in case power goes out and we have to fire up a generator because generators are typically run on gas. So we have excess gas to run generators. There was a year, what year was it? I don't know. There's seasons where hurricanes are really bad and then there's like barely any. I think Hurricane Ida or something like that. We lost power for up to three weeks and that was really bad. I had to um, clean up the property from all the damage. By damage, I mean like falling trees and limbs and stuff like that and flying debris and everything. I had to go to work. I couldn't take a shower, so I had to ask friends if I could go and take a shower, which kind of worked, but kind of didn't. I ended up taking showers at a friend's house and at Anthony's house, and then sometimes if there wasn't time because I was working and then coming back and clearing up the property, I would then have to go to work without showering. So I would ask permission, hey, can I just like have like a quick sponge bath in the bathroom? And they're like, oh yeah, sure. Like, but why? And I'm like, cause I still don't have power. And they're like, oh my God, you don't? I was like, no. I'm like, they leave us to last. So I would be sh showering in the bathroom at work. That's always fun to have to do. <laughs> it's just what happens when you're, you live in Florida. Today, I'm just going to be sitting in and editing because I just don't want to have to work out in the rain again. I already did that this week and I just don't want to do it again. But uh, let me show you what the app actually looks like. So that's the app right there. I have to say, like all the instructors are really good, especially the ones for yoga, they're really good. So if you guys wanna check it out, go ahead and check it out. It's just the words fit on, it's free to download. And you don't even have to pay for the premium service. You can just use the regular service. Just do your workouts, it's great. So let's get to work. <laughs> It's a bit later now. It's actually it's more than a bit later now. It's 324, 325 in the afternoon slash evening. And oh my goodness, my program keeps crashing. I don't know why, but it's very annoying when I'm trying to edit. But I am going through a final edit of a video. That's about, that's gonna come out way before this vlog comes out. So this video will already be live on my main channel. If you guys wanna check out my main channel for design and illustration stuff, go ahead and head over there. This is going to be dive into the madness. Let's break the rules in InDesign. So I showcase how to create like anti-design posters and such. It's kind of fun. It deals with like Doctor Strange and the multiverse of madness. I have been editing ever since I left you guys last time, which I think it was like 1130 at that point. So it's been, it's been four hours and I'm still editing. Typically my edits last anywhere from like two hours to four hours, sometimes six hours. It just depends on the video and how complicated it was to film and how much information there is and such like that. So it just, it depends. Like there's, some videos are very quick and easy and some aren't. This one, this one's not. <laughs> Wearing my blue light blocking glasses, sorry, they're pro probably very distracting. But um, these, I've talked about these before. Um, I got these off of Amazon. They, they're very simple and they work really well. I really like them. They help to protect my eyes. Sometimes I have to mess with the lighting and the color. So I typically do that first and then I go in and I edit all like the clips and such like that. This is when these come in handy is after I do all my color grading and lighting and stuff. Which it, it depends on how I'm editing, whether or not I do a lot of color grading and 
lighting and such. I typically don't. I have presets already set for those. These just come in like really, really handy. These will be linked in the description box down below if you want to get them and try them out, especially if you work from home or if your job requires you to be on the computer like more than an hour at a time. Like these are really, really helpful. They help with reducing eye strain and they also help to prevent headaches if you're someone who gets headaches from working on the computer. I am going to continue working. I'm getting close to being done. Fun. I didn't mention earlier, this is the first of June, so happy June. Another month is gone, like I don't know where the time's going, but my goodness. That's pretty much why I did that full workout this morning, because usually it's just me sitting for quite a bit of time, and then I usually get up and I get moving or go out and like deal with like property stuff and whatnot. So typically Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are like my busiest like editing days. Well, Tuesday is usually a filming day and then Wednesday, Thursday is like edit, edit, edit. But I like to break up the day a little bit by like getting my body moving, being mobile and like going outside and such like that. So I will need to feed the animals in like an hour. You guys have seen that before. It's just going to be work, work, work for the rest of the day. really hard for me to get my videos down like 20 minutes this one is one of the ones where it's just like I can't I just I just now oh god it's 7 30 it's 7 30 in the evening and it's still light out guys like it's it's still light summer <laughs> um but oh gosh the video that i'm working on for anti-design is 27 minutes long and i cannot cut it down anymore like i tried and i cannot this is my third edit on this video and i just i can't okay i'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and just export it because this video is taking me all day long like what did i say i started this at like 11 30 and now it's 7 30 <sighs> It's so long. All right, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna export it. Save it. Export it. It's exporting. It's gonna take forever though. It generally takes around 30 minutes for this machine to export video. So that's gonna export and I'm gonna go make some dinner because, oh my goodness, it's, oh, it actually said 20 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna go make some dinner because I'm exhausted and I'm tired and I'm hungry because I did not eat lunch today. Oops, yep, I'm just probably gonna make, I'm gonna make a Korean dish, I think. So that's gonna be my day. I'll see you all. Bye.